Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful day. Gorgeous year. Amazing people. Great people amongst my peers. Strength, peace, and love. Woo! Peace, 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 y'all. Peace, peace, peace. Pardon the smoke. A little authentic authenticity authenticity <laughs> you know just give you a little synopsis that you know I want to welcome all you guys to one of my um, therapeutic sessions in which um, go to nature just to uh just to breathe in the good um, the good air due to the fact that I do smoke so um, it's urgent for me to be by by water by the lake you know by the trees and you know um, and rejuvenate my lungs you know but it's a beautiful day out here in Central I'm over by 59th Street it's a beautiful area rich area you know um, I guess uh, you know for what it's worth you know and for the time that is you know and for the time that we are in or that I'm in you know and take it's this beautiful scenery just wanted to give you guys a a good uh, a good background as I speak my truth you feel me um, When I make my videos, I um, sometimes I do have a subject at hand or a matter, but um, today I just want to make a video in the sense of, um, you know, to speak about, um, speak about whatever comes to mind. Check this out. So, I spend a lot of time alone I used to run in groups a lot I used to be around friends and family a lot um, more than I'll be alone basically um, and I learned a lot I learned a lot you know you know different characteristics you know different personalities dealing and managing um, different moods um, different ideas and um, you know this time alone I have learned that uh, you know God is good you know um, and in the midst of my crisis you know I'm always going through something you know it's only right only because uh, I'm sorry it's, it's, it's not right but um, it's one of the ways I actually get you know get to show my strength when I'm actually going through uh some tough the some tough situations that will get anyone to um either break or either commit all types of uh perhaps crimes or suicidals or all types of different uh different negative outcomes you know but i'm god's child so you know i'm the holy father's child and in a sense that i um i persevere and Welcome to my peace, like welcome to um, to my sanctuary in a sense, and my place of uh, my place of being, you know. And if I could show you around me real quick, you would see that there's a lot of a lot of um, baby um, baby red cardinals around me, um, which is great good sign um, throughout the years I've done amazing things you know like um, I've never really been the type to boast I'll just be there and you know and try my best to you know show my support on whatever situation or occasion it is 
Um, but yeah, I think it's good for me to um, to speak about my uh, some of my achievements. You know, um, so. <laughs> Part of me, I'm very private, so when I see people coming amongst my um, amongst my circle and my, I kind of kind of get distracted because I don't really want them to be there. But you know, certain and my energy attracts. You know, it's like an attraction. People want to see what it is, what's going on. Well, let me show you. Cool. All right, back to it. So I want to pardon myself once again. You know, if it bothers you that I smoke, you know. Good for you who do who those who don't smoke I'm not you know it's, it's part of my way of um you know blessing the area in a sense good vibes you know um so it's a lot going on first of first and foremost I want to think give thanks to the father Mother, Father, God, for giving me this breath and these um, these beautiful um, hey, bro, look who's coming to visit. What's up, guys? I'll be wondering why I'm over here. Yeah, pretty sure this is his home and shit, but at least he ain't trying to throw me out. He he just left. Alright. Um Let me put this out. I just wanted to get a a pull or two. You know. I used to smoke hella weed. I used to smoke a lot of weed, you know. You know took a little break because I started to notice some of the buds, some of the weed is like, it's no good. Like, you know, I started feel nauseous and stuff like that. I started to feel like a little bit weird and some of the, um, some of the smokes, you know, it's a lot of different names out there for the bud now. It's a lot of different hybrids, you know, whether fake or real, you know, sometimes you can't even tell. Now I'm good. So, um, there's been things running through my mind, like, like family, like careers, like, you know, finding and, um, Opening the inner God in oneself, in myself. I'm gonna speak for myself in a sense. Um, it's not easy being. It's not easy being Freddie Fresh, and I'm pretty sure it's not easy being you. But um, you know, we come with unique qualities that um, you know most people would uh, could attest to. You know. Um, being misunderstood a lot, I kind of got used to it, you know, so in a sense, I don't let them disrespect me, but I do protect my, you know, my aura, I do protect my space, and um, wherever I'm at is where I'm supposed to be at, divinely, galactically, you know, 
whether time is real or not. This is the now, I live in the now every day. I live in the now every step I take. I live in the now every breath I make. And I wanna thank everybody, you know, for, for being who you are. You know, for the humble, humble savages. <laughs> you know, for my humble people out there, you know, I say I say humble savage because it's good to be humble, but when you humble, sometimes people want to step on you. And although that is um, that comes with the quality of um, of being of managing your emotions, you know, and you know, but um, sometimes you you know I get offended by. Uh, by people trying to take advantage of the sense, you know, um, try to drag, try to kind of like push you to come with them, or trying so hard to be in your in your circle, or hey, when are we gonna meet up? Hey, when is this? When is that? And um, sometimes I really don't have no answers for them, and I say, and I will say things like, you know, I'll see you soon. I'm not sure when, but I, you know, things gotta. Things just gotta work out. Things gotta be in its proper in, in, in its proper um, energy and frequencies, you know. So um, I consider myself um, a man of God. I consider myself a man of righteousness. Um, for all my sins, I do I do pray and I do ask God for forgiveness for all my willful sins, all my unknowing sins, you know, whether it's willingly or whether it is um, unintentionally or intentionally, whether it is by mistake. I, um, I ask God uh, to try to guide me or to guide me in my, um, in my missions, you know, but um, now I'm in this point in my life where I'm, um, I'm securing the bag for the future, I'm securing the bag for my daughters. Um, you know, um, I wanna leave something beautiful behind for them to see. And, uh, you know, I would like to come out, you know, I got this Apple Galaxy Photo Magazine that I would like to, um, you know, bring out, you know, hopefully this year. I'm gonna come out with this this magazine of uh, just basically covering everything from um, home improvements, relationships, uh, anything from you know businesses, new businesses, new buildings being built, um, you know, following following um, a lot of influential people that 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 can make a difference or makes differences by the careers that they chose or by the or by the company they represent or the company they made themselves. And um, in my magazine, I will try to bring everyone together. You know, you can see everything on my magazine, everything from um, people's stories, you know, um, for the good, for the bad, or for the worse. You know, any type of content is welcome. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm a good journalist in a sense. I could, I, I like to write about people and, you know, their experiences in this life, you know. But, um, let me see. Uh, there's so many things going on and I think that um, I'm living in the proper timing. I'm living in a, I'm living in a time where I'm, you know, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So, being being that being said, I, <clears throat> um, so we have. I have a couple of concerns as far as humanity, um, as far as the direction. You know, I'm here in the United States of America. You know, um, part of the Garifuna tribes. And I don't really like getting into names only because, you know, it starts to, um, 
and it's, it, we can't avoid it when people start to kind of like um, discriminate or um, to try to find fault in in the words that you speak and um, you know uh, trying to find things that you don't relate to or you know but I hope you guys are watching with a with a with a pure consciousness you know no judgments you feel me um, As far as humanity goes, you know, I live in New York City. I've been born and raised out here all my life. You know, I'm in my early 30s and I'm still um, still getting used to a lot of things. I'm actually, you know, first, first, second generation, you know, being here in the States, you know. Um, and I love to learn about my environment. I love to learn about everything that's going on around me whether it has to do with people, whether it has to do with nature, whether it has to do with galactic stars, moons, the sun, whether it has to do with the ocean, lakes, rivers, you know, um, anything that has to do with life, I really uh, I have a special attraction for. Um, I'm pro-life, I'm pro-choice. Um, but most of all, I'm pro. I'm pro holy godness, and um, and being ho you know, being pro holy godness, it's 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 a big challenge because um, you know, sometimes we are born in a situation where where perhaps it feels like um, God is in and out. Or perhaps it doesn't even feel like he's there, or perhaps it doesn't, you know. Um, I guess I'm speaking for others, but in my experience living, I remember when I would go to sleep at night sometimes, I would I would see things, like um, I would see people in my room, you know, and I would just close my eyes tightly, you know. I remember I used to see clowns, like I would wake up like in the middle of the night, all of a sudden I see a clown standing over me, you know. Um, I would see, sometimes, um, there was one time I seen, well probably two times I seen like three huge persons just standing over me, and, um, and I would close my eyes and, and I open them again and then they'll be gone. But, at this time, I was horrified, you know, I would be like, what is this, you know, am I dreaming or is this real? But me closing my eyes was to show whether or not I was dreaming or not, was to see whether or not um, I was conscious or not. But um, now I think about these things and I know that it's, a, it's very special, you know, it's very special. It doesn't happen to everybody and it, 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 it's something that... um that that you grow to want to look into a little bit more to see what why was that why was that happening to me what was happening um you know was the house haunted was you know was there any any specific things that i that any practices whether there's any practices that your parents do whether it's um you know working with all that magic stuff, um, you know, question, I just question it, like, you know, and I asked God for the clarity as, as, as to what or why it was happening. Um, look at this black and white bird, guys, hold on, let me see if I can show y'all real quick, I know we see the bird hold on. It might be a, um, a woodpecker, but it's definitely beautiful. Yeah, so, um, and all these experiences just made me feel more unique in a sense. Um, like, like, wow, like these things, you know, was coming to me at an early age. I didn't know how to react. I didn't. You know, I probably didn't even tell nobody either. I, I don't think I really ever spoke about it. And I guess, um, you know, it's fresh revelations for you guys today. 
Um, I'm here, man. I mean, I made two beautiful daughters. God gave me a son named Saul. My my oldest daughter, Serenity. My youngest, Liliana. Um, you know, God bless and, and infinite love to my kids who couldn't make it. You know, here living, who are on the other side, protecting pops, protecting me and guiding my my strengths. You know, they know that that I love them. You know. And they know that um, that I know that they uh, they around me times. So um, um, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, it seems like you know, it seems like like for the real men, things are getting real tight, real tough. We are getting attacked in every level. I feel like. You know, every level, like, you know, for us men, we, we love to honor our women, you know, and our women are being attacked crazy. So, um, I don't want to get into judging because everybody makes mistakes, but I would love to um, speak about um, how to heal these things, you know, because um, I've gotten cheated on I've gotten um, I've gotten lied on and scapegoated on and you know um, and I will be in my emotions whether I'm yelling at them or you know whether I be a passive aggressive or aggressive um, you know all these all these elements has matured me to see and to understand that that God really works in a sense that let him let him work like um meaning by letting him work just speak to him about it and don't don't move don't 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 react you know um uh, and i'm just I, I, you gotta understand me because i know that sounds really cliche or or sounds really like very submissive and all that but honestly yo god loves us and and he wants as for me, my message with that when I speak to Holy Father God is that um, is that He wants us to acknowledge Him, you know, like Roman Reigns say, acknowledge me, you know. He wants us to acknowledge Him every day, like giving thanks to Him in some way, somehow, you know, um, something that you're doing, you know. He shows Himself to you every day, like you guys. I just show you the birds, you know that's around here and things like things of that nature like you know like he's around us in every sense you know and everything around us is alive so I'm learning to speak life to everything you know you know to this very little bark or branch of tree that I got here sitting on I ain't know it was gonna be my seat today but I'm pretty sure it used to be high in the sky at one point. Perhaps thunderstorm put it down, or perhaps one of these park convention state park people over here who who just I don't know. To me, they destroy it. They destroy the ecosystem here, trying to make it better or, or more people friendly. But um. The way it is, it should, it should stay that way. The more natural, the greater, the more powerful. And this is part of the reason why I come to, to, to the park, you know, to cleanse myself in a sense, um, through breathing and just being here, being away from people, you know, and, um, you know, being around people, you, you start to check yourself out more, like, you know, you want to make sure that you, uh, that people don't look at you as crazy or that you fit in or, you know, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just a lot of trying to make up, you know, to fit into a society that really, uh, you know, to me, we all in bondage. Um, no matter how much money you got, I think that everything is, uh, a lot of things is controlled, and 
the only thing that's not controlled is God. Like, Holy Father God, he's He's the only one that could control the whole situation. Like, like New York City is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Like, you know, you got these new buildings up, you know, a lot of these deals with China, whatever, you know, U.S. government making their deals and stuff like that. And we get to see what they spend their money on. And, um, you know, of course, I get mad because they don't spend it with us in the sense of like, you know, you know, um, like, let me like, I know we got housing. I know they got section eight things that help out the, 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 the melanated persons here. But in all duality, it shouldn't even be like that. We also have freedom of living. And which and freedom of choice and, and freedom of where you want to live and how you want to live, you know, and um, and having the having the the means and the sources to to uphold your your daily living, and um, all of that comes with people being free. Like you know, when you have people living like this, in which they are forced to work and 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 make a living and, and they don't got time for the for sometimes for their children they don't have time sometimes for themselves um always in a speed always in a speed type of living type of lifestyle um you know not trying to be late you know we always fight in circumstances that is that has that has really like um that has an impact on our um on our health, you know, overall, but, um, you know, it's a lot going on, let me just name a few, I can't speak about everything, but, you know, um, these abortion talks about abortion is a right, all this other stuff, you know, we, we, we natural, you know, we men, you know, and, um, you know, it's always been love. It's always been an appreciation for life, period. So whenever there's a kid that is being born or that has been, um, um, <laughs> that has been um, produced by you or, you know, made by you, it's only right for it to live, you know, whether you think it's a mistake due to society purposes, whether you think it's oh you don't have the funds or the means or the money or the house or the or or the background of family support or whatever logistic human thing you could think about of the reasons of why not have it is definitely against God's purpose of you. Um, procreating and making life he made you to make life he made you to understand and to um to train ourselves to understand that he's there and that that we in bondage because of certain things you know that that you know we fail to 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 praise him we fail to to acknowledge him within us you know not so much outside source too because i think father god would like us to know that He's he's really within us. Your your belief is everything. Your what you think and what you believe is everything. So, um, you know, uh, I believe. You know, in saying the word "I believe" is powerful. You know, so you got you can't use that word um, so loosely, and I tend not to use the word at all. I believe because um, it just it just. Um, there's just other words to use and um the English language is so uh it's so um it's autistic. It's autistic but also, you know, gotta be very careful. Um a lot of words that we think it's the definition is not, you know, so it could be tricky, you know, so that's why it's great to have our native language. If we have a native language it's always good to go back to the roots and knowing the native language but for us who who knows the who knows english as our native language and and that's what it is and that's what we know then um you know we 
we become experts at everything. So language being one of those, the way of living being one of those, finding a way of living being one of those, you know? Um, you know, when you really want something, nothing really stops you. Like for me, for example, if, you go, if I'm going out and going for an interview knowing that I need something and I think I need to get this, um, I'll have to train and do it. You know, nothing stops you. Like, you know, I'll cross the street when it's a green light. You know, like, like there's a lot of things here to keep us in order or to keep control of your freedom of will, like your spirit is free, like like, like your spirit wanna do things that your flesh is too scared to do. And I think that um, that's my daily fight in a sense, you know, and I challenge my fears. Like, um, like now I developed this whole, um, um, this whole energy field where I could feel a car coming or not, you know, where I could cross the street confidently without, without, hesitating or you know um without even having to look both sides i just i would just walk because i know there's no cars i don't feel nothing in my energy field you know but all this came with um i mean like all this came with pain honestly you know like um you know people doing me wrong or i have done people wrong and perhaps it's some of it maybe it's some of it or a lot of it is um um, karma, or whether it is that a lot of it is, uh, um, you know, curses or spells or, you know, just people speaking or doing things behind your back or wishing you bad. Um, all these things have strengthened me over the years. Like, for all the times I was outside and people didn't want me inside, I found love outside, you know? For the times that I couldn't stay home when I just didn't feel like I didn't feel appreciated, I felt appreciated outside. Or I'll go and I will create that, meaning that I will go outside and I wish people a good day. Hey, have a good day. Boom, they positive energy when they say you have a good day. Boom, that that fills me up, and I could hold that light up for another four hours. You know, I could hold that light up. Then it start dimming down. You know, the more. You know, and then you you gotta do it again. You gotta you gotta put good works in to be able to to coexist and to be able to um, keep staying in the positive energy. So um, you gotta keep consistently put put good energy out. So boom, I'll go to the store and be like, yo, how's your day going? Oh, it's going good. Uh, I'll, and I'll say something like, yo, you know, um, well, I wish you more money today. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, I'm pretty sure more customers will come, you heard? And they'll say, oh, thank you. You know, I appreciate that, man. I wish you a great day, too. I wish, I, I want, you know, they want good for you, too, because you wish them good. So that's how good energy start flowing. Bad energy flows the same way, in a sense. You out there, you mad, you upset, you, you have all your reasons to. I'm not saying that, it's, you know, it's, it's only normal. But emotions, you got to be careful because 